to another episode of the Food Bloggers Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make my very own homemade banana pudding. Uh, listen, I'm not trying to continue to bring banana recipes like all the time. I, I, it's been nothing but banana like in the fall uh, for me, but I actually, I had somebody order this because I make this quite a bit for my bake sales and stuff like that. And so I was like, why not just share it with the people uh, on YouTube? So let's go ahead and get started. Well, I have some granulated sugar, eggs, egg yolks, cornstarch, salt, and banana uh, extract. And I have some bananas here, some graham crackers here, and then I have some uh, whipped cream uh, that, that I made from scratch. And I'll show you guys a little clip on how I made that. And then here I have some milk and some vanilla extract. Alrighty, so as you saw, I kind of already started uh, mixing things up. You want to just mix it until it gets like a nice pearl color like that, and then you can make a figure eight with it. You see that? Come close. Let me show you. You can make your figure eight just like that, and it doesn't break. That's how you know it's ready. And so while you were away, I went in and already had my milk heated up. And so this is my vanilla uh, pudding recipe on my website. It's just been uh, doubled, and this is what I normally do whenever I have a bake sale. I normally double or even triple it just because um, I don't know how much people are gonna want. I think the last bake sale that we had so was supposed to not a little bit there. <laughs> not sure, uh, I think we had about like th like almost 30 last time. Like we, I love making them in like little cups, but today I'll be using uh, a 12 by, I'm sorry, a nine by, uh, nine by 13 foil pan. And I'm gonna be making one, like I said, one for us and then one for my customer, my next door neighbor. She ordered it for her son's birthday and I'm so honored to be making it for her that she even thought of me. Like, I was like, woo woo. <laughs> she was like, she was like, yes, of course. And, and I made some business cards for them because I, um, if you know me a little bit, like I don't really, um, I used to cater quite a bit, but I don't really do that as much anymore because I really wanted to start doing more of this and also, too, I was working at the time, so it was like a little bit too much for me. But kind of like getting, having a few orders at the time, I think it's good enough for me. I don't want to do too much and overwork myself, you know? So so just make sure, mix it, mix it very well. And we are going to pass this through a sieve like you saw. We're going to pass it through the sieve, put it back in the same bowl. And yeah, so, okay. So just mix, so don't worry about that. So we are going to pass it through a sieve. So pour it back into your pan. I want to make sure get all this at the bottom off. So put this back on here real quick. And then we're gonna get, I don't know what that sound was, wow. Okay, I'm gonna get all that out of there because all that goodness, we need all that out. And of course I want to rinse the bowl out, of course, before we put the pudding back in there. And we're just going to miss, uh, miss, mix this, uh, continually whisking on medium, about medium, uh, medium high heat. I'm going to medium hot heat for about, I don't know, about like 10 minutes. I'll just show you once we get there. Okay, and uh, I think I made a mistake. Uh, it's not medium hot heat, but it's just medium heat. My bad. So just cook it on medium heat until it's nice and thick. And like I said, I'll show you once we get there. And then we'll start. Uh, I'll let this cool for a little bit. And then we'll come back and build everything. See, it's real nice and thick. It, it, it cooked for about 18 minutes. Um... And see, it's nice and thick. And I want to add in my butter. And I'm just going to start it in while it's, while it's hot. Uh, pass it through the sieve right here. Make sure uh, it's all nice and uh, sh smooth. <laughs> sh smooth. And then, and then I'm going to uh, cover that with, uh, with plastic wrap. You want to make sure that the plastic wrap is actually touching the um, recipe peanut butter. The pudding. And, uh, and you're going to pop it in the fridge until it's nice and cool. And then we'll just, uh, I'll show you once we get that done and we'll pull it all together. Okay, so the pudding is like room temperature. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put about about a cup, a little more, you know, just kinda do how you do. But, you know, about a cup or so of the whipped cream into the <laughs> whipped cream, <laughs> into the pudding, and then you're just gonna fold it together. And I have my uh, nine by 13 uh, little pans here. And uh, it's just really just, now it's just about building uh, everything because um, um, it's really easy, you know, especially like I say, if you're gonna use this for like a, uh, a family dinner, I would suggest to do it um, at least 24 hours ahead of time because you wanna get all these different elements to really uh, marry each other. 
I'm sorry, that's my dog bothering the back. But um, so yeah, so because I'll be giving this to my customer tomorrow, um, and so um, it's going to go in about it's about five o'clock right now, uh, almost six o'clock, and I'll be giving it to her around six o'clock tomorrow. And so just as long as it sits in there for about at least overnight, that's what you want just to make sure that all the flavors and stuff marry, everything's able to settle, get thickened, and woo woo woo. Look at this. Come here. Come here. Look at that. Doesn't that look heavenly? Woo woo woo. woo, -woo. Yes. Yes. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. So try not to be perfect, but you know how I do. Okay. That's good. So what I want to do first. This over here, so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. What I want to do is I want to take some of my uh, crumbs, the graham crackers. Um, I know that this is probably not traditional, like at all, but this is what I like to do. And you, you don't have to uh, do this. You can use the traditional um, vanilla wafers. Uh, you don't have to crush them up, but you can just kind of like we call it, um, just put them on the bottom, like in like, like in a normal shape. And but I like to do it like this. I like to be different, so that's just, this. This is why I do it this way. And also too, um, whenever uh, I do it for my bake sales, this is how I do it. I don't do it any differently because I, I just think like you know you have to always do something a little different. You know you want to you, you don't want to ever uh, be the same as anybody else. You want to kind of like think outside the box and you know just do you. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to let's put that. Come here, let me click. So just kind of. Put it in there like that. Make sure it's nice and even, kind of covering the bottom. And then you're going to put a little bit of your pudding on there. And then you're going to just kind of do dollops. And then you're going to smear it on there. And then I'll just kind of show you once we get there. Okay, so what I, what I did is I went ahead and just put uh, the layer of the pudding. I was looking in there and I, just, I switched to my uh, spatula, also spatula. Layer the bananas in there from getting close. Just like that. I'm breathing pretty hard. I'm just ready, y'all. Okay. And then we're gonna put a layer of the whipped cream over the top. And I'm gonna smooth that out. And then I'm gonna do um, probably an, I'm gonna do another layer of the graham crackers, a little bit more of the pudding. And, just, and you just kind of just do it as you like to do it. I like to do like at least like a double layer. Um, and um, just to make sure that everybody gets enough banana. Everybody gets enough um, grill and crackers, so that's really it, y'all. And what I'll probably do, yeah, I don't know, I'm sure right now. Okay, so I'm so focused. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. So just kind of like layer as much as you want to, and that's really it, you guys. And so you can just put this in um, as soon as you're done with it. Come with, come with the lid. What, what I'm gonna do, this is gonna save size. I'm gonna put some plastic wrap over the top of it. Then put the little one in just to make sure everything's like nice and uh, secured in there. And then that's really it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this recipe. And I'll see you guys next time on the Food Lovers Kitchen. Now you know I was not going to leave y'all hanging and not tasting right. You believed it, didn't you? Let's go ahead and get this to taste. I did it like the exact same thing that I did here. Just laid it, doubled it in the, into a bowl. And look, I, look, I garnished with a little bit of mint. You can see it in the thumbnail. Ooh, let's give it a try. I said sure. <laughs> let's give it a try. <laughs> Mm. Oh, so good. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm telling you, it's gonna be so much better whenever you let it cool for like at least 24 hours. So I'm gonna sit my camera just laughing. So like, guys, I'm telling you, it's so it's gonna be so much better when, when you let it uh, cool because it's gonna get thicker as everything like marries and stuff like that. So I hope that you guys enjoy this recipe. Uh, please give it a try, and I hope that you enjoy this video. And um, we will, and please follow me on Instagram if you don't, because I share some stuff over there that I don't share here and uh, stuff that I'm trying to make or want to make the channel just so you can be caught up. So guys, I love you so much. Thank you for all, all of the support. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time on the Kitchen.